Hey everybody, welcome to J Stern Designs. Today what I wanna show you is how to cut apart and make a jean pattern out of a pair of jeans that have been loved to death, and I mean literally to death. I have um, a pair in front of me that my friend brought over, and she wears these for um, hunt tests and field trials with her dogs, and she rides a horse, and she's running around in the woods, and sometimes it's raining, and sometimes it's wet. Um, and these have been her all-time favorite jeans because they're cotton and they don't feel gross when they get wet. Apparently, a lot of these new jeans that she has in her closet now with a lot of lycra in them just feel gross and really yucky when they get wet and she has to still continue to wear them because she's in the field. So I want to try to salvage this by making a pattern out of these jeans and then, um, you know, we can make them up in some 100% cotton or a very low lycra count denim. Um, I do want to say that if you're considering cutting apart a garment to make into a pattern to make a new garment, it's better if they're not as gone as these are. So I just want to show you what I'm talking about. Um, these jeans, she has, I'm, I'm like impressed at the amount of darning and whole patching she has done on these jeans. Um, I think this is very interesting. Right here in the crotch, you can see that um, she actually took a strip of fabric and sewed it right in there. Um, and then right underneath that in the back, there's a huge section that was darned to some interfacing. Um, this side has not been darned yet, but you can see there's already a hole there. Um, and then the side seams are the same situation where she's got either strips of fabric. Um, okay, so the side seams are the same thing where, you know, if I were to turn this inside out, she'd have strips of fabric darned on or interfacing. So these jeans have really been killed and we're gonna cut them apart and try to make them into a pattern. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate the front from the back. Okay, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna start by cutting along the inseam. And you can see I've got this heavy flat felled seam along the inseam. I'm just gonna take my little sharp scissors and I'm just gonna start cutting. Okay, so now at this patch, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn it inside out actually so I can see where the, the stitching is and where the actual seam is. That's probably the best idea. So, so you can see the, the Hummer hole there. I'm just going to continue to try to cut evenly right next to that. It's pretty heavy, but see, I can do it. So I'm cutting through the patch and the leg, okay? Through the center back seam and back down the other side. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna turn it right side out and I'm gonna do it from the right side. I'll start on the bottom, meet up to where I finish cutting over there. All right, now that I've cut the inseam, I'm also gonna cut the side seams apart. And again, I'm just going to go right um, along the edge. And because it's flat now, I'm gonna use my rotary cutter because I think that'll be quicker. I'm just gonna go right along the edge of the seam like this. I think the rotary cutter gives it a more smooth, straight cut. I'm gonna cut straight through the waistband. I'm not gonna bother trying to separate that from the jeans. And I'm just gonna do that to the other side now. I'm gonna cut the other side seam apart. Because the fly creates a nice straight edge, I wanna try to use this side of the jeans to make the pattern. And I can see that that's gonna be fine because there's no extra damage on this side over here. So I'm gonna use this side. When I cut out, cut the left from the right, I'm gonna make sure I'm not inflicting damage to this side of the jeans because that's the side I'm gonna use. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut right along the edge like this. And when I get to here, let me cut this fly off. Remember, I'm not using this side, so I don't care about this. So just to separate it. All right, 
Okay, so see now I've got this whole thing here. Um, and I think I'm just going to go in here and just clip away this t bar tack that's holding it. Remember, my whole goal is I want to work with, I want to have one nice clean side, this side right here. And I don't want all this bulk under it. If this zipper was um, something special or if it had a cool something, I would salvage it. But this is a narrow zipper. It's only a, a number three zipper. So I'm not going to bother trying to save that. Basically what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the tape alongside the inside of the teeth like this. And then I'm just going to cut that off like that. Okay, so I've separated it in half. So I've got the little bit of this zipper left on the side I'm going to use. And then I've got this piece over here, which I'm going to pitch. All right, so I'm just going to iron this flat. I'm not going to stretch it. I'm just going to flatten it out. Let's look at this from the right side now. All right, so you can see that the leg actually extends out past where the pocket bag was. So when I redesign this, I'm gonna make sure I put that ease in um, for the hand. All right, so I'm just gonna lay this flat over here and I'm gonna work with the back now. We have the back yoke. We also have the back pocket. I'm gonna leave the back pocket um, attached to the jeans for now. I'm going to trace it off to get the size. I've got a big hole here. I've got a big hole here. I have no hole on this side and I have much less damage on this side. So I'm going to use this side of the back to make the pattern. Um, again, you really want to sort of survey which side you think is going to give you the best shape, especially if the jeans you're working with are not in great. Um, the width of this flat felt seam is almost a half an inch. I use a pen and I'm gonna mark a half an inch seam allowance including this edge and that'll give me a nice edge to work with. So instead of you know cutting it apart and leaving the, the um, reinforced edge on the side I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna cut on this side over here. And that way I'll have a reinforced edge to use when I'm shaping my back crotch shape. Oh, and this is going to be a happy day because then I can just leave that belt loop right there. You see what I'm saying? I won't have to play with that one. And this one on the side, it's almost falling off. So I'm just going to snip that. And just I'll just cut this one off like this. Okay? So that takes care of that. So now I'm just going to cut apart my back legs on the line I drew. And when I go to draft my pattern, I'm going to remember that I don't need to add a half an inch seam allowance on the back crotch seam. Okay. All right, so I'm not using this piece. So I'm going to throw that away over here. And again, I'm going to want to um, do one more thing. I'm going to cut apart the yoke, okay, because we do want to make a separate yoke piece. So I'm right at the bottom edge. And that's why I wanted to cut the belt loop off because we don't need that. Oh, I guess I gotta do this too. Or I'm gonna just snip this. I do need this cut off. All right, now I'm gonna cut the yoke um, off of there. All right, all right, so that's a skinny little yoke on the back of those jeans. Let's iron it flat. And the back leg, I'm just going to give that a nice press. All right, so now I've got my back piece separated. OK, 
here you can see how it looks. Um, and I've got my yolk right here. All right, and then I've also got my front. Oh, and these are going in the same direction. So there's the front. So those are the pieces I'm gonna use to make um, this pattern. I think because I cut off the yolk here, now that I've got this separated, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the waistband here too, I think. I'm just gonna cut right through everything. 